These guys are ready to go. The John Hancock Tower rising, and let's go straight over. Well, the maturity and poise of a young Jason Tatum has often been talked about. Maybe that's because his parents prepared him for the NBA from an early age in St. Louis. They had pretend press conferences using a hairbrush as the microphone. And you can say he's been groomed for this, and it's paying off. Guys? Yeah, they dotted every I and crossed every T. David, thank you. Missing some depth tonight, but the starting lineup is intact for this team. Their situation bears watching. Anytime you're missing this many players, it changes everything. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Collins plays the four with Nurkic at the five. The high-powered backcourt pair, Lillard and McCollum. And it's Anthony in at the three, the small forward. And for the Celtics, Walker and Brown, they're manning the backcourt. Hayward at small forward with Tatum at the four. And it's Tice in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, Portland being up there in the PNW, that's the Pacific Northwest, always means a lot of air miles. Matter of fact, they lead the league pretty much every year in distance traveled. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Now here's Walker. Kicks it to Tatum. Brown outside. Watch him. Right here, right here. Watch the rim. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Walker in the corner. Three on the clock. Off target from three-point range. Well, right, you talk about all that travel for the Blazers. That can wear you down. Well, interesting. The Blazers have done some particular things off the floor for their players, bringing in UV lights into the locker rooms, coffee before the game it, it it's very much hipster pacific northwest the trailblazers shooting their first free throws of the game two shots relax on the first That free throw, no good. Brent, two explosive backcourts. When you were playing, who was the toughest guard that you found to defend? Well, I would start off with a guy named Allen Iverson. <laughs> and the reason that I, I start that's with that, a, Kev a. Well, yeah, well, the reason Allen. I start with Kevin is I just saw the back of the jersey all the time. So I remember Iverson, <laughs> clear as day. Uh, but if I went deeper, I would tell you guarding the Hall of Famer Mitch Richmond at a time when he was playing for the Sacramento Kings, they would run an offensive set, much like for Reggie Miller, multiple screens by a bunch of guys who were big and strong. That was not good for me to try to fight through those kind of screens. But if you gave Mitch Richmond eight inches, two points. And Richmond was strong and had bulk to his body. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, Kevin. I can see the bruises. <laughs> Deep two from Anthony, and it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. And so it's Boston with it. It's a three-point game. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Alert against Walker. Nurkic with the block. Well, Nurkic seeing an opportunity there to make the impact defensively with the block. McCollum against Brown. Three-pointer Lillard. It's good from long range. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. For Boston, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Out of bounds. Portland takes possession. Yo, get on day. I'll call him outside. Screen, screen, screen. Milo, Milo, Milo. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Shot, shot, shot. Boy, 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 boy. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Walker finds Tatum. Here we go. 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 Here we go.
Five to shoot. Back to Walker. Three-pointer, Hayward. And the rebound by Nurkic. Kev, I know it's early, but going 0 for 4 to start a game can make a team get a little bit tight. Come get it, come get it. It's McCollum on the wing. He's covered by Brown. Here's Anthony. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. I know CJ plays the two-guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great find. Walker with it. Now Anthony defending. To end the cold streak. Walker's shot is off. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. But Trey finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. And this is where Walker thrives, an assertive long-distance shooter. Lillard, the pass to McCollum, out to Anthony. Hits the jumper in space. Anthony's got six. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Walker dishes to Hayward. Back to Walker. Shoots over Lillard, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Five points in the game. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for Portland. And that one drops for him. Mello showing some muscle. Impressive right there with that physical finish. Round kicks to Tatum. Pass to Tice. Stolen by McCollum. Tatum against Collins. That's a two from Lillard. They get it back. Nurkic and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Nurkic plays with a little bit of that edge, a little bit of moxie, and that toughness is something the teammates can rally behind. The Trailblazers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. Free throw good, Nurkic. And so, Brent, you and I know the legend of Nurkic. Back in Bosnia, a sports agent read an article about a huge policeman, seven foot, 400 pounds, and this agent tracked down this policeman and asked him, do you have a son? <laughs> well, that son is Yusuf Nurkic, the guy you're seeing out there. And 14 years of age, Yusuf Nurkic had never played the game of basketball, so the agent took him under the wing, and the rest pretty much history here, Kevin. I like that story. Here's Walker. And the rejection by Collins. Terrific instincts defensively as Zach Collins able to reach over and get that one. Kicks it out to Lillard. Falls through. He's now made two of four. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Celtics trail by 11. Watch Walker. Walker the pass to Tatum. Nurkic with the steal. Pass to Anthony. McCollum outside. The pass to Nurkic. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. Nurkic has got five. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Tice with the ball. Now guarded by Nurkic. The kick out to Brown. Drains it from beyond the arc. And that's just tremendous confidence from Brown. Going up with the shot right away and giving the D no time to react. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Started. One of the bigger names on the free agent market this past year. Kemba Walker. And it didn't take long for him to land with Boston to replace Kyrie. Hornets made an attempt but offered well below Kemba's value. Now, I think Kemba's going to be a great fit in Boston.
Whiteside's checked in for Collins. Walker against Lillard. The three. It's hauled in by Brown. Celtics trail by 10 to the inside. Tatum finds Walker. Here's Tice, covered by Lillard. Here's Walker. He's got five. Back to Tice. Four on the shot clock. Hayward outside for the three. And again, Boston with the triple. A tough cover out there. You want to close out hard on Hayward, but you also have to respect his ability to take you off the bounce. Here's Lillard. Sweet little floater. Timeout, timeout. Lillard's got seven. Always fun to look at. Not Started. tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Scoring has always been Lillard's strength, but last season a career high in assists, and you wonder how much a healthy Nurkic is going to help propel this team as they've equipped themselves with some interesting players at the wing position to try to take another step forward in the Western Conference. And some changes here for the Celtics. Marcus Smart's checked in for Tatum. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Kemba Walker. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They trail by nine points. And watching film is becoming an obsession for Damian Lillard. Well, that's a great way to learn visually sitting down and not only looking at your opponents, but where it is maybe where you can take advantage and stay in your zone. Lillard committed to the game and committed to improving. The Trailblazers have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. One shot, one shot. And that mid-range jump shot discouraged for many players, but not for C.J. McCollum. I love the way that C.J. can just wind his way to spots on the floor and speeds up when he wants to, not when the defense is asking him to. For three, Hayward traps in the tray. Hayward's got six. And the skills of Brown, not just a super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Here's Lillard. That's off. It's his fourth miss in seven tries. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Here's Nurkic. Kicks it out to Lillard. It's stolen. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Here's Smart, and Whiteside sends it back. Whiteside, one of the best shot blockers in the NBA. That one swatted. Kicks it out to McCollum. And another turnover here by Portland. Cantor is checked in for the Celtics. Here's Wanamaker, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Pass to Hayward. Outside, smart. Hayward against Whiteside. And Whiteside sends it back. There's the three. Knocks down the three ball. And the Trailblazers lead by 10. 
excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart, the other one playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And a nice show of strength from Whiteside there. Slapped on the shot, but still makes the basket. And looking at the numbers for Whiteside the last few years, Greg, it seems like his production has come back down a bit. And for a minute, Whiteside looked like he could be a dominant center, but he struggled since his great 2017 season. Shot selection has been hurting, and, and sometimes it feels like he is in his own way as a player. Each year, so many coaching changes. Brent, do you feel they generally get too much blame when things go wrong? I don't know if blame is the word, Kevin. That's just the easy out for a lot of organizations that want to make some changes. The, the main thing that's frustrating, I think, for the coaching fraternity is patience. You have to be realistic about the potential of your team and how much time it takes to grow what it is that coaches culture is all about that's where teams sometimes lose out and give up on somebody a little bit early but these guys go into it eyes wide open oh there's no question about it and really good coaches in the nba know that it might not last all that long so they're going to be who they are that's who you want to hire hire a coach who knows exactly who he is both coming in the door and walking away another bucket down low they've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim the kick out to brown and again boston with the triple great to see brown drop that perimeter jumper showing off his terrific stroke from beyond the arc pass to azania here's trent Lillard outside. Six on the shot clock. From deep. No good on that one. Now the Celtics take it the other way. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Kicks to Smart. The Celtics working the ball around now. Brown dishes to Cantor. Back to Brown. Over Collins. And it's Brown missing. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Lillard, the pass to Collins. Back to Lillard. Bangs home the trifecta. Timeout, timeout. Lillard's got 12 in the game. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And it had been talked about for some time, but... Last summer, the Heat finally decided to pull the trigger on Hassan Whiteside, traded to Portland for Leonard and, and Harkless. Whiteside and the Heat had soured on each other in the trade, a chance for both sides to have a fresh start. Some changes for Boston. Shemi Ojale is checked in for Hayward. Tatum comes in for Brown. And Walker subbed in for Brad Wanamaker. Smart dishes to Cantor. Back to Smart. 51 seconds left in the first quarter. Outside Tatum. Over Collins. And there's the bucket from Tatum. And how about the mindset of Tatum? Even when the D is in his grill, he, he somehow finds a way to get shots up and over them. Back to Lillard. A three ball. The rebound by the Celtics. Here's Smart. The three-pointer off the mark. Trailblazers leading by 11. Collins with it. 
Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Stolen by Walker. Here's Tatum. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And so it's Portland holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Right back after this break. Gordon Hayward reunited with his college coach, Brad Stevens. He said they go way back. Our relationship started when I was in high school. He came to my morning workouts and um, really recruited me at Butler and was kind of the first guy that I think believed in me that I could make it to the next level. And I'm sure, Greg, that relationship played a big role in Hayward deciding to join the Boston Celtics. And not just a connection, but a respect. Hayward now a veteran in this league, while Stevens has moved into the conversation for one of the better young coaches in our league. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And looking at what we've seen, Trailblazers pretty much in control here. Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the floor for Boston, Walker and Smart, the guards. Ojale is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Tice in at the center, locking down the middle. Here's Walker. It's hauled in by Trent. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, if you were going to lose Kyrie Irving, why not replace him with Kemba Walker? The Celtics brought Walker in from Charlotte last offseason, and it looks like he's going to pay off big time in Boston. The Celtics timeout, timeout. didn't exactly do what they wanted the last couple of years, but Started. with Walker and Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum and a hopefully healthy Gordon Hayward, the Celtics aren't exactly going to be in the lottery anytime soon either. Or you're right on that, D.A. They're still stocked, and we love Walker. He'll, uh, I think, mix well with this team. Thank you. Brent, if you were building an offensive system from scratch, what would be your favorite style of play? I would really tend to lean on three guards that could handle the basketball, Kevin. Guys who can initiate plays from all over the floor and really look to find players that are, are smart about playing off the ball. You combine three of those guys with the skill set, mm -hmm. so one has it, and the other two are maneuvering around. They're going to cause so much commotion. They're going to cause uh, so many breakdowns defensively within a possession uh, that a, a multitude of playmaking players, that would be tremendous. And Tough all of those defend, guys, right? I mean, yeah, but all those guys, too, Kevin, on top of that, if we talked about their physical s nature and stature, I would want guys that are 6'6, six, 6'7, six, six, and long because when you get back to the other end, you want them to be able to coordinate and take up enough room defensively to cause some problems. But man, three guards, three long guards, and, and this is something that Phil Jackson relied on during the years when they won championships yes, in Chicago. He always looked for long guards, aside from Jordan and Pippen. There was the Ron Harpers of the world that helped accentuate what they could do on the perimeter. Celtics trail by seven. Left side Walker. With the floater, shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It goes on C.J. McCollum. And you always know what you're going to get from Walker from the line. He's been a solid, consistent free throw shooter his entire career. Well, one of the bigger names in free agency this past summer was Kemba Walker. A lot of teams, Greg, looking at him. And rightfully so, Kevin. With, with Kemba, a point guard who is in oh, his prime. Take a break. Take he's a an break. impact player who can Two hit shots. big shots and is one of the more underrated stars in our league. And he knocks down the first one.
So he gets them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. McCollum deciding where to go with it. Pass to Trent. Let's the three fly. Offensive rebound. Here's Nurkic. The feed to Collins. There's the pass to McCollum. Trailblazers moving the ball around. Trent gets the bucket. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the D. And so it's Smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Boston Celtics. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Smart's got his second basket. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. And now, here's his own young, guarded by Tatum. Lock at six. Trent passes to McCollum from deep three-point range. And the Trailblazers, another three. And this is part of the patience of C.J. McCollum. In-air adjustments with the defender on him. You have to like that body control. Down low, Ojale. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got three assists now in this one. Trailblazers leading by seven. Get CJ. Get going. Walker against McCollum. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And the Celtics with possession here. Stolen by McCollum. Rebound, Boston. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. He's gone two for two at the line so far. A year ago, he had an 84% success rate on his foul shot, so he was a guy they were always happy to see at the line. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And the Celtics rebounding well this summer. From the loss of Kyrie Irving and Al Horford, Kemba Walker possibly a better fit for this team. And with their young core, understandable that they didn't want to extend Horford out to age 37. A revamped roster, but I think they remain a contender in the East. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. McCollum up top, guarded by Smart. Here's Trent. He's got six. Shot clock at six. There's the double team with Walker. And that one drops. Trent's got five points now this quarter. Celtics trail by seven. Up top, Walker. Nine points in the game so far. Tatum's shot is off. But he's not the guy that you want to give a wide-open look from three-point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Boston's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Rob. And here comes the break. Here's Trent. Out of bounds. Trailblazers ball as Portland keeps possession. And the Celtics making a change here. Brown's checked in. Damian Lillard, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. McCollum outside. Buries it from three-point range. McCollum's got nine. Just so good off the pass. McCollum set up and ready at all times. Here's Walker. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Anthony, the pass to Nurkic. 
Kicks it out to McCollum. Takes a three. And another three for Portland. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Feeds it to Hayward. And that one is off. Anthony with the defensive effort. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Inside, second chance shot, and Nurkic lays it in. Nurkic has got the lead up to 13 now for the Trailblazers. For Boston, they've gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter, over 60% shooting. And they are very comfortable running their offense through Walker. And you can see why. Drops a sick dime right there. That pass was right on the money. And Lillard kicks to Anthony. Passes it to Nurkic. Over Tatum. That one a little long. Celtics have gone 6 of 9 in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Pass to Brown. To the middle. Here's Tice. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Took the opportunity when he saw it. 11 points for Gordon Hayward. First three of the quarter and third overall, guys. The defense might want to step up just a little bit on him from this point on. Now Lillard, he's got 12. Right side, the pass to Nurkic. Down to five on the shot clock. The baseline J, and the jumper is good. McCollum's got 14 points for the game. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Time out, time out. Now a timeout called by Boston. A lot Part of people over the past couple of seasons wondering if C.J. McCollum and Damian Lillard would be together. Well, the franchise has made that commitment to them financially. They've kept up great chemistry and great leadership with this team. Have the additions in the offseason been enough to push Portland forward? Austin making some changes. Williams, he's checked in for Daniel Tice. Marcus Smart comes in for Jalen Brown. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Kemba Walker. And Portland with a change here, too. Trent's checked in. Here's Wanamaker, covered by Lillard. Pass to Hayward from outside the arc. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. He's going to force them to have to make adjustments. That's number four in terms of triples in the half. Here's Lillard, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And the four-year, $196 million Supermax extension signed by Damian Lillard this offseason. Dame Dalla living up to one of his many nicknames, but money well spent by the Blazers. Shoot. He's off on the first. Well, I love to watch Lillard play. He's from the Bay Area. That's where I'm from. Did you know that, Kevin? I mean, I'm a Bay Area product. We could talk more about that later. But he's fearless, heartless, and he usually saves his best for last. It's Lillard time in the fourth quarter. He hits the second from the line. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for Boston. Six-point game. Out. 
The pass to Tatum. There's the triple. The shot, no good. Now Portland takes it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. McCollum passes to Lillard. White side inside, defended by Hayward. I got your help. McCollum against Smart, and we're going to have ball, a jump ball. ball. It's tied up there. You too. And the Celtics with possession here. Celtics trail by six. Passes it to Wanamaker. Back to Hayward. Smart deciding where to go with it. And slam dunk by Tatum. An explosive player who has no problem finishing above the rim. Tatum does damage inside. Cullen passes to Whiteside. Metal, metal, metal. Lillard fires away from way outside. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Nice shot by Smart. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. They get it back. Pass to Trent. This one for three. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. Here's Wanamaker. He's covered by Whiteside. Tatum wide open. He fires one. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Yeah, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And Lillard is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul. The Celtics shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one misses. Brown is checked in for Tatum. And Portland with a change here, too. Yusuf Norkic, he's checked in for Whiteside. Here's Williams. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Wanamaker, covered by Lillard. And Wanamaker gets it to go. 141 left to play in the first half. To the paint, here's Trent. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Jalen Brown. Yeah, the defender all over him. For Portland, they have shot 75% at the stripe, six of eight. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. Two shots. The first one falls. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Celtics trail by five. Wanamaker the pass to Hayward. Williams with the ball, covered by Anthony. Williams can't get it to go. Portland's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. That one falls. Lillard's got 15. Love that Damian Lillard is developing that little floater in the lane. Smart to recognize the defense collapsing. Here's Hayward. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. No, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Celtics shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Ooh, 
Shooting two. First one falls for him. And what you love about Hayward, the all-around ability. Scores, facilitates, rebounds, and does so with consistency. Hayward hits them both. 102 left in the first half. Portland leading by five. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Fifty-five seconds left now here in the second. Wanamaker the pass to Brown. And Wanamaker gets it to go. Man, can you always depend on him or what? to lead you to the right place with that pass. Money. Nurkic up top. Outside Anthony. Over Hayward. Anthony can't hit. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. They trail by three. Here's Wanamaker. Covered by Lillard. Williams passes to Wanamaker. Six to shoot. No good that time. Good D by McCollum. Lillard from deep three-point land, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Trailblazers lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David. Kevin, thanks. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. After two quarters, it's Portland out in front. They have a narrow three-point lead. Kenny, what did you see from them? So far, I love their commitment on the glass. Even when they were playing well, their rebounding remained a priority. And so far, the other side hasn't matched their efforts. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics? The way they were getting rain on from three, they're lucky to still be in this. In some cases, it was shooters making contested shots, but in others, it was defenders leaving shooters wide open. You can't do that. Bottom line, their perimeter defense is relaxed, and that needs to change, and that's a fact. Oh, 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 I was rhyming, Ernie. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Really an incredible game from Gordon Hayward. Yeah, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. On the four for Portland. Bearing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Collins plays the four with Nurkic at the five. And it's Anthony in at the three slot. Stolen by Walker. Hayward on the wing. Nurkic with the block. And it's McCollum in the corner. Let's a floater go. Kicks it out to Lillard. Sinks the triple. Lillard's got 18 points in the game. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. You wonder with Nurkic last year getting hurt just how much further the Blazers could have gone. Again, carried by C.J. McCollum and Damian Lillard. Their unbelievable dynamic duo at the guard position. But the defensive anchor all year long had been Nurkic. The feed now to Lillard. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. One shot. 
Yeah, Lillard is fearless, able to take that hit and calmly knock one down and one. And with their high-powered backcourt, Brent Nurkic providing the Blazers with that sorely needed paint presence. He is a big body. Big body who sets screens and One frees shot. up a bunch of room for those guards that you mentioned, Kevin. But the interesting thing is about all the dirty work that Nurkic can do down low for this basketball team, picking up 10, 12 points in the painted area and putting a lot of pressure on the defense. There you go. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Lillard against Walker. He kicks it to Tatum. Hey, put it back, put it back. His three-pointers off the mark. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And look, a tough rookie season for Zach Collins, but boy, he's bounced back. Much better in terms of shooting showing why he was taken in the top 10 back in 2017. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And you look at Collins, able to protect the rim and space the floor offensively. And fits that modern template for an NBA center. Uh, time will tell how good he can be, but he's already making an impact. And he sinks the second. Now Zach Collins is aggressive and confident and waiting for his opportunity to show just how consistently good he can be in the NBA. Pass to Hayward, fires for three. Rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Portland no good that time either. And that's how you want to see defense play. Got right up in his face to bother the shot. That's going to make any scorer uncomfortable when you get that aggressive. They are just killing them on the interior. Trailblazers leading by six. Now the pass to McCollum. Outside Anthony. I pose Nurkic. He can't get that one. Great D that time from Tatum. Yes, that goes in. And now it's just a four-point trailblazer lead. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. Here's McCollum. Some solid defense from Brown. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. McCollum passes to Anthony. Yeah, Melo can play big down there in the paint, so using his size that time to draw the contact. The Trailblazers have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And yeah, Melo's still bringing the passion to the floor. No matter what's going on around, he's still going to be a gamer. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Right around three minutes into the second half. Walker against Lillard. Walker goes in. That one drops for him. Walker's got 13 points. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense nowhere to be found. And Lillard gets double teamed. McCollum kicks to Nurkic. Shoots over Brown. Trailblazers keep it alive. There's Nurkic putting it right back in. 
and the Trailblazers lead by six. And Nurkic does a great job just keeping the motor running. Walker finds Tice. Tatum against Collins. Passes it to Walker. Offline with his three. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for the Portland Trailblazers. Lillard with the bucket. Lillard producing right now and finding ways to torch this defense. Just filling up the stat sheet. Here's Brown. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside. And that's 10 points in a row in the paint. And for Jalen Brown, part of the challenge last season, especially with the return of Gordon Hayward, was meeting the high expectations, Greg, in a reduced role. Competition for minutes, and then early on, he struggled. Uh, we all see the potential, but it's really about seizing the moment every time you're on the court. One shot. One shot. Portland leading by six. Lillard looking around. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. The Celtics have gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. Tatum passes to Walker. They double-team Walker. Wants to get it to Tatum and does. Nurkic with the block. Three on three. Here's Anthony. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Mello powering his way through the defense down there. He's used to that kind of contact throughout his career. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And some changes here for the Celtics. Daniel Tice is checked in for Ennis Cantor. Hayward comes in for Shemi Ojale. And Smart subbed in for Jalen Brown. And both free throws good for Anthony. Celtics trail by eight. And Walker kicks to Tatum. Stolen by Collins. And Damian Lillard with the bucket on the assist by Collins. Boston's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell, especially for owners whose teams are in the relatively weaker Eastern Conference. Taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup two with shots. the two best Relax teams the in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas, David. Thank you. First free throw is good. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Whiteside's checked in. Hayward hits them both. Trailblazers leading by eight. Inside. Shoots a fader. Again, the Trailblazers score. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Pass to Tice. Back to Walker. They double-team Walker. Five on the clock. In the corner, it's Hayward. 
Again, the miss by the Celtics. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Whiteside kicks to McCullough. Walker against Lillard. From deep. Offensive rebound. Here's Nurkic. And another shot. Oh, that's blocked. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Here's Tatum. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Tatum's got it back down to single digits for the Celtics. Awesome ability to focus there by Tatum. He just has a feel and a belief in what he's doing out there. And it's in there. Whiteside's got seven points. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. And stolen by Lillard. And he uses the glass on the layup. And it's a 12-point Portland lead. Yeah, with how hot Damian Lillard can get, you cannot let him steal the ball and then put one away in the open court. Here he comes. And, and when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Let's it go with a three. Drills it from outside. Lillard's got the lead up to 13 now for Portland. I don't know. I'm getting the feeling as this game moves on, time out, time out. he's getting stronger. Time called here. The Celtics Guarded. decide to talk it over. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. Not sure what the defense is thinking or if they are. They continue to let him shoot. That is bad defense. Shemi Ojolay is checked in for the Celtics. Brad Wanamaker comes in for Walker. On defense, Portland. This is the most they've led by 13 points. Here's Ojale, and he's good on the three ball. He has seven. Over the taller defender. This is why you have to stay connected to shooters on the perimeter. Yeah, that effort just not good enough because even if that defender was a bit taller, the shooter already locked in. And it's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will retain possession. Clock at six. Anthony, the pass to Whiteside. Lillard. And he connects with the jumper. Lillard's got 18 points just in the second half. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Hayward against Nurkic. Hayward is double. Back to Wanamaker. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Wanamaker's got six. Well, they brought the double team to force the ball out of his hands, but failed to rotate off the pass. Now a timeout called by Portland. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team, Greg. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. Collins checked in for Portland. Hezania comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And yes, it's good. And that's now 35 points for Lillard. Oh, boy, the touch is coming back here in the second half. Percentages from the field much better than it was at the break. Williams passes to Tice. Here's Ojale. Seven points in the game. Outside, smart. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. And a wide open look for McCollum and another three for Portland. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Boston Celtics. 15 point game. Williams kicks to Ojale. The Celtics working the ball around now. Smart on the wing. He's guarded by Collins. From the top of the key, Smart misses. That was some very intimidating, aggressive defense that really helped alter that shot. And now, here's Hezonia. He's tightly guarded. 
And he banks in the layup. And the Trailblazers lead by 17. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. For Boston, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Two shots. Relax on the first. The first free throw is good. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. And some changes here for the Celtics. Cantor is checked in for Daniel Tice. Tatum comes in for Williams. And Gordon Haywards is subbed in for Shemi Ojale. And Portland with a change here, too. Trent checked in. Both good from the line that time. Trailblazers leading by 15. Here is Lillard. He has 35. And Lillard gets double teamed. Here's Whiteside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Jason Tatum. And that's what you want to do with Whiteside, feeding him the ball in the paint where he makes the defense collapse. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Uh, interesting with the game shifting to the pace and space about where Whiteside fits into the puzzle. He is still a double-double threat down on the inside and can be taken advantage of on nights. Jalen Brown's checked in for Gordon Hayward. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Celtics trail by 17. To the inside. And slam dunk by Tatum. Oh, up high and down hard <laughs> with that one-hander. He got a little extra forceful. You're right with that one. Lillard, right side. Here's Whiteside, and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Well, Whiteside beats everybody to the ball, but then maybe the wingspan helps out. Seven foot seven, reach over the top, snatch that. Big coming. Pass to Wanamaker, and stolen by Lillard. Yo, set it up. And he converts the layup. Lillard's got 37. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball smart basketball defensively turning into easy points back to Wanamaker and the officials call him for a three second violation and to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from well not making things easier on themselves right now that's for sure Norkic checked in for Whiteside yo 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 watch Lillard now, here's Lillard. He's guarded closely. Here's Hazania. Here's Nurkic. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got his fourth rebound in this one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Two, two. No good on the free throw.
the second free throw, good. 34 seconds left in the third. Here's Lillard. The rebound by the Celtics. Cantor's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Smart, wide open, he fires. The three-pointer is right on target. And of course, this is Smart's biggest hurdle. Sometimes he looks great shooting the three. Sometimes, though, it's just the opposite. Now, here's Lillard. 37 points for him. Right there. From past the arc. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Portland out in front, up by 15. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, Greg, is peripheral vision. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Tatum and Cancer together down low. Smart and Brown outside on the wings. And it's Wanamaker in at the one. That's the Boston Five. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Lasagna, the pass to McCollum, and he gets it to go. McCollum's got 21 in the game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Tatum finds Canner. And there's the pass to Wanamaker. Now here's Tatum. Back to Wanamaker from downtown. It doesn't go for him. Uh, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Down low, here's McCollum. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Smart. The kick out to Brown. Portland grabs the miss. Whiteside's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Hazonia with the ball. And he gets the jumper to drop. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Here's Wanamaker. Passes to Brown. I want the pick. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. They get Hassan Whiteside. I admire the energy that Brown plays was so great at getting to the line. Two shots. First free throw is good. And the vertical that Brown has is pretty impressive, as relentless a finisher as you'll find in our league. And Brown drops them both. Portland leading by 15. McCollum outside. Out to the wing. And Tatum over to help. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's Boston with it. And it's smart with the ball for the Celtics. Pass to Wanamaker. 
to the middle. Wants to get it to Tatum and does. Yep, that one goes in there. Tatum's got 10 points here in the second half. Yeah, and in one-on-one -on -one situations, Tatum is a nightmare to guard. Versatile offensively and really allows him to score consistently. Here's Azania. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. And he's good on the second. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Watch the screen. Outside Tatum. Shot clock at six. And that's a foul called on Zach Collins. That's foul number two for him. Wanamaker looking over the floor. I see him. Stolen by Collins. Well, the instincts on defense on full display there. It was a gamble for sure, but it paid off big time in the form of a steal. Celtics trail by 14. Here's Tatum. It's hauled in by Trent. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. McCollum against Tatum. Takes the 13-footer. McCollum, no good. Well, he's getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. Boston making a switch here. Ojale is checked in. And a switch here also for Portland. Nurkic is checked in. And a little over three and a half minutes hey, in the books DJ. so far here in the fourth. Hey, who got ball? Who got Down ball? low and taken away by Brown. Smart passes to Wanamaker. Kicks it to Brown. Pass to Cantor. Just five to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Wanamaker. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Portland leading by 14. And the pass to McCollum. Great pass to set up the lay-in. McCollum's got four this quarter. And I feel like the team right now is accepting the fact that C.J. McCollum is on fire, so they're looking for him on possessions in the half court. Cantor, the pass to Brown. Collins grabs the miss. How about the timing? He shows there to challenge that shot. Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Brown outside. To end the drought, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Two. No good on that one. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Daniel Tice comes in for Cantor, and Gordon Haywards is subbed in for Smart. Smart. 
No luck that time either. Trailblazers leading by 18. Feeds it to Lillard. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Lillard's got 39. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. It's good. I'll tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. McCollum outside. Back to Lillard. Inside. Here's Nurkic. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. And that's 11 points for Nurkic. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Wanamaker the pass to Brown. Hayward from outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Well, if he's hitting shots from there, he becomes so much more dangerous. Hey, pick up game. Lillard left side. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Now, here's Tice. He's guarded by McCollum. Passes it to Ojale. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. To the inside. And Damian Lillard with the bucket on the assist by Anthony. Anthony's got six assists in the game. Wanamaker the pass to Ojale. Collins comes over with the double team. Here's Wanamaker, covered by Lillard. Here's Ojale. Powered down after the assist, let him into the lane. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Get on down. Outside Anthony. Screen, 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 screen. Pass to McCollum. Shut up, shut up. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Brown. Pass to Tice. To the wing right side. Ojale kicks to Brown. Fires it up. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Now a timeout called by Portland. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Damian Lillard. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear Terry Stotts talk to his team during that timeout. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this one. Finally got themselves in the trenches. Momentum completely shifted now. We've got a tight one here in the final period. Here's Ojale. He's guarded by McCollum. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Smart. Here's Tice. Nurkic with the block. Collins in the post. 
Count it from 12. Well, a little mid-ranger is going to be an easy shot for him when he's got that much of a size advantage. Smart against Lillard. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. That free throw, no good. Kemba Walker is checked in for Shemi Ojale. No good on the second free throw. Trailblazers leading by 12. Nurkic dishes to Anthony. Lillard attacking, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Just more and more complete appreciation for how complete the offensive game of Damian Lillard is. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws good from Lillard. Celtics trail by 14. Who's got Walker? Now Walker, Hayward outside. They kick out to Walker, launches it. Rebound by Anthony. Anthony's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. So he's building off that strong first half he had. I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure him out in the second. Walker the pass to Tice. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Robert Williams, he's checked in for Boston. Oh. Oh. On defense, the Trailblazers. Can they get it? Smart misses. Trailblazers leading by 17. And here's McCollum. And Smart over to help. McCollum kicks to Lillard. Six on the shot clock. Portland needs to get off a shot. Fires the three. The shot by Anthony, no good. Boston's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. To the paint. And Smart with the basket on the assist by Walker. And that's 12 points for Marcus Smart. Well, he's been accurate tonight. I think the best way for them to succeed is to get him more shots. Sounds simple, but it comes down to execution. Inside, Lillard. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Lillard's got 45 points. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the Portland Trailblazers. The lead is 15. 
And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for Portland. I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Damian Lillard. It looked like a couple times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastating. Just three to shoot, and here's McCollum for three. Rebound, Boston. 59 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Williams passes to Tice. Nice ball movement by Boston. Walker surveying the floor. Fires from deep. Can't hit that one. And the Trailblazers going the other way. Hey, yo, get on Mello. Now, here's Lillard. McCollum outside. Lillard attacking, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Lillard's got 47 points. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. Yeah, looks like a veteran team tonight, getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. And that one is good. You got a shadow walker. His mid-range game is on point. Lillard outside. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Carmelo, what did you like best about the win tonight? We just played hard. Uh, we came out here ready to play. We jumped out there quick on a defensive end, and offensively, we've got it going again. And it was a great team win today, though. Everybody contributing. Carmelo, thank you. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.